What's up guys, HTG Brian here back with more LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This is level 15, the high ground. Free play! That's right, this is the end of episode 3. We're gonna get all those mini kits, all three challenges, and of course hit that true Jedi status, giving us all those kyber bricks. So, a uh, quick reminder, we do have quick links down below in the video description. And I do want to point out that the first challenge we do is actually really time dependent. It's actually called Wider Awareness, and you have to use the steam vents to damage Anakin. Now, at the beginning of the level, you're going to want to toggle over to your secondary character, which should be R2-D2, and you're going to want to rush straight ahead up to a terminal and use it before Anakin jumps off of the steam vent. So I just want to get that out of the way now. When you guys are ready to jump in, go ahead and choose Episode 3, The High Ground. And of course, we're going to select Free Play, because we want all them extra characters which are going to come in handy down the way. So here we go. All cutscenes and non-essential gameplay has been removed. And look at Anakin doing his little funky dance there. Again, toggle over to your secondary character and rush this terminal. Solve this puzzle from the inside out as the dialogue is happening in the background. You can say, you can hear him say something like, oh, it's not going to take very long or something like that. You want to solve it? Although I'm taking a long time to get her done. We get her done, and look at that. Woo to the who! Little air vent action just for you. <laughs> Next up on the right-hand side of your screen, you might notice that my force is attaching to a cake tray. It's some sort of a, uh, well, it's a trolley, and it's got some dessertage on it. You know, like if you go to a fancy restaurant, often they'll bring the desserts out on a tray. Well, it's basically like that. You probably noticed it in the cutscene as... Both Padme and Anakin actually eat some cake off there. He uses the force to bring it over and, and uh, chomp it on down. I want to uh, stress the point, though, that once you grab it, you get one shot to yeet it. So make sure that your aim is on. And I do recommend that you kind of wait till, uh, you know, you get a chance to grab it and get him centered on your screen as you saw me do it. Because he does grab you a few times with the choke hold and you got to wiggle your way out. And that just can offset everything. And you might quickly try to do it and then yeet that trolley off into the distance, which would not be productive. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and depleter his meter. And once we do, he's going to actually take off and run inside the building. He's going to slurp us over there using the fools. Watch that. See, he grabs us and drags us. And then he locks sabers. And then after we fill up this meter, he turns around and runs inside. Now, we're going to turn around and run away from him. Not because we're scared, but because we got some collectibles to grab. We're going to toggle over to R2. And the only reason I did this is because I wanted to grab some studage over here. There is a grapple point. And we'll go ahead and utilize it. That's right. Thank you very much. And now you can already see the mini kit floating around in the back left side of our screen there. So we're going to get over to this air vent. Now, sadly, I couldn't find any characters that utilize that vent. Like, it doesn't blast me up in the air and keep me there or nothing like that. So I toggled through and try to find my bounty hunter because he has that jetpack that's going to help us get across this gap. However, much like that one in the Senate Showdown, it's sort of a long jump. And uh, yeah, after a little character snafu there, we mess it. All right, second try. Going to nail it, right? Second try. It's always the second try that we get it. And boy, you can show. I mean, first try. Nailed it. <laughs> All right, we got it. We're going to grab it and turn around and run back over to this other side here. And again, we're not ready to pursue Anakin inside. We want to pay attention to these little handhelds on the side ledge here. And of course, we can jump up, float out, and then grapple using Django or Boba. I'm sure there might be some other characters too, but that's just what we know for fact. And in the back corner, you're going to need a bounty hunter to go ahead and melt that gold. Build up the bricks left behind and collect mini kid number two. Now we are out of here. We'll go ahead and jump, float, and grapple across the gap. Now, you could just cheat and toggle to your other character. And then we're going to follow the old GPS waypoint marker into, well, almost into the building. Right at the front door, we're going to hang a right. That's right, a Roscoe. We're going to toggle over to a Jedi character just because we felt like uh, we had better control with our jumps and stuffs. Probably not needed, if I'm being honest. But uh, we'll go ahead and hip it to the hoppa all the way across the toppa. Over to the far right side. Woohoo! That's some pretty, uh, yeah, that's uh, some really <laughs> death defying trickery there, bud. All right, we'll go ahead and keep on hopping all the way across. Hopefully, you don't fall and plummet to your doom. 
We'll eventually get ourselves to this switch. We'll jump up, pull it down, and it pukes out a purple stud. Thank you. We'll take that. And we'll double jump on these handhelds up inside. And as soon as your feet touch the inside of the building here, it actually gives you the challenge. So all three challenges are officially complete. We're going to go ahead and open the door so R2 can follow us. We're going to need his help in a minute, or a secondary character sort of comes in handy in a minute. In fact, we actually need him, but that's beside the point. All right, inside, Anakin's standing on a table, not really respecting the uh, property around here. I guess that's... He's beyond that at this point, huh? <laughs> He's got a little red on him. He's a little angry. But uh, he drops a bunch of stuff around the room, making it all wet and gross. And then it actually indicates that the whole place is coming down. So we all know how this ends, but we got to get to the end first. So we're going to deplete his meter. Eventually, once you do, he's going to take off and run to the other side of this building and run out on like a pathway, which we're going to avoid. We're actually going to grab a couple of mini kits before we chase him down. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We need to take down his health all the way down to zero. And eventually, yeah, I was going to say, we lock sabers here in a minute. We get that multiplier up. This is a good place to get your studage up, too. Not only just for that true Jedi, but just for some extra coinage. Uh, taking out all of the surrounding stuff while your multiplier is up can certainly lead to some high-paying studage. And, of course, once it uh, depletes itself, you get paid anyway. So getting that multiplier up is just good for all things studs related or something. All right, meter completed, and he's going to take off. Bye! And instead of following him, we're going to turn around and go into a different room. In fact, there should be a side spot that we can hop into but oh i guess i'm getting getting behind or ahead of myself depending on how you look at it I, th this was the section i was sort of indicating was a good place to get studage as you can see i get a few and then i move on but yeah so lots of stuff to break in there in fact you could get your true jedi right now or maybe you already have it depending on which multiplier you have or how much things you've smashed we're gonna need a villain character on this terminal on the opposite side of where anakin just ran off and once we get that done did, it's going to open the door. And on the right-hand side, there should be a silver brick. Go ahead and toss a nade on there and watch it go kaplooey. And then you're going to want to grab the old bluey. That's right, the fuse. -y. We'll go ahead and take the fuse to the other side of the room, insert it. And we got a little bit of uh, musical performance here. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, no. Not the right song, but anyways, it's actually pretty cool. I, I In my trial run where I was scouting everything, I did listen to it. I turned the music on for the, like the first time in this game. Now, I'm running out of here, and I actually take a left when I should have taken a right. Basically, we want to run to the table that Anakin was standing on because right in front, there is a scoundrel point. So we'll switch on over to Han or whatever your favorite uh, scoundrel is. Go ahead and aim down sight. Look right at the purple icon, and it should cue a cinematic that he goes all the way down and finds that secret spot and blasts it, which is going to leave a, a behind a bunch of pouncing bricks. We'll build those all up, and simultaneously, we'll get that true Jedi stud status as well. True Jedi stud stati? Hmm? Hmm? Is that a new term? <laughs> All right, once both characters have stood on the switches you built from the leftover scoundrel bricks... We'll go ahead and collect that manicat right in the middle. Thank you very much. All right, so we're basically down to the final collectible, the final minikit. We already got our true Jedi. We got all the challenges. We just need the last kit. Now, sadly, it's like right at the very end of the level, one of the last things that you do. So we do recommend if you are in a hurry to use those quick links down below in the video description as they could help you get there and figure it out. In fact, it's not a bad thing to do. Even if you're following along right now, using that quick link will take you there and you'll know what to look for. And you won't have to worry like, oh, my gosh, am I going to miss it? Am I already there? Have I already passed it? Which, uh, you know, can be a thing from time to time. Usually if you follow along, though, it's pretty good. I'm pretty good about giving you heads up. Usually, not always, but... All right, smash your way through the debris, and this is a little ironic. Well, it was until the character switched on me. Did you guys notice that? I was Vader approaching Anakin, and uh, yeah, then it switched me over to, uh, yeah. Anyway, so uh, it's weird how the game does that sometimes. It sort of wants certain characters for certain moments. Obviously, it wanted Obi-Wan versus Vader, because that would have been weird, and... 
that just also tells me that the cutscenes aren't as smart as they could be. And a lot of games you've seen in the past, not necessarily Lego games, but in some, you're using a character, it'll actually apply that character to your cutscene. And it'll have the animations and everything, depending on what outfit or cut, whatever, right? Not in Lego Star Wars. <laughs> I wonder if it had something to do with the character creator. You know, if there was something going on there, maybe that, uh, I don't know. And I know a lot of people were upset about not getting the character customizer or character creator, but hasn't bothered me so far yet, although I'm still a long ways out from completer in this game. So, all right, uh, I've talked through a little bit. We got to smash a couple of little speeder bikes that came and flew. They're not really speeder bikes, but they're some sort of flying device. Smash them, build them up into a couple of buttons, split your protocol droid, probably uh, 3PO, into two and stand on both switches and it should take us into the next part of the saber battle cha 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 get that multiplier up spin 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 all right we got a hundred thousand studs that's that's doing good we only needed 70 so uh not likely you had to farm many but again the more you get now the less you'll have to farm later so uh, we definitely have enough to purchase the next stud multiplier. However, we don't have another data card, and it's not in our plans to go get one until we're done with the free play. So far, every level has been easily accomplished with the True Jedi with just the one two times stud multiplier. So we're just going to rock it all the way to the end, and then we'll probably pick up a data card on our next free roam. I I'm guessing Hoth will be our first free roam level completed, but that'll also depend on our free roam guide because there are a couple of missions that unlock for completing other ones and once we get there we'll definitely take you on the path that we feel is the easiest or least resistance to get to that hundred percent all right well, i have talked my way all the way through this section of the saber battle and if you've noticed we still haven't made it to that mini kit but you can see it floating in the back right corner over there so we're getting close this segment was awfully weird. We ride this weird, uh, like, flying bot, and then it just drops us off. Why didn't we just ride that all the way over to where we needed to be? Like, I mean, we could have just used our Jedi mind tricks or whatever and made it happen. I get it, though. It needs to represent this part of the, the movie or, or the event, right? So uh, we're almost getting sinkered, and I don't think we took our lava drill, so we better get up those handhelds quicker than usual. Which, as you notice, I missed that jump. I did a backflip and totally <laughs> missed the, the grabbing. And uh, I think I do it again right here. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, I wonder, can you fail this? I, I didn't stick around long enough to see if you can or how it works. But uh, definitely, I guess, don't recommend it. Make your way all the way to the top. And then we're going to jump across a series of uh, like platforms and sort of chase Anakin some more, do a little more cha-chawing. And then eventually we get to a spot where we have to use a protocol droid. P protocol? Pro protocol. Woo! Easy for me to say. All right, go ahead and spam that all the way up. And he's going to jump to the next platform. And, oh, psych, we are. Come and get us. <laughs> all right, so hopefully he follows us. Psych, he does. But he takes the long way, I believe. Yeah, he does. He's jamming out. I don't know where you get one of those flying little drone things, but I need one in my life. It'd be fun. I mean, I'm sort of lazy and probably should do more walking, but we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about <laughs> we're talking about luxuries <laughs> and one right now that we don't seem to have as the hero character. All right, uh, follow Anakin out into this middle spot here. Get your cha cha on. Uh, after a few strikes, I do believe he retaliates. Oh, I think we have to deplete the whole meter, actually. Yep, we do. He runs off and we follow him. But this is where the protocol droid got to come into play. We are not going to do that right away. We're going to actually go the opposite direction. You can see the mini kit floating straight ahead of us over there. I decided to use my bounty hunter, which I almost missed that jump as a result. But uh, we're floating down here. Basically, just use patience. Jump out onto this jumping point, and you wait a minute, and another one will move, and another one will move with the kit, and woo to the hoo. All right, now back down. We got to go. We're going to make our way back over to that protocol droid spot and switch to 3PO. And go ahead and get our beep boop bobble beep boop on one more time. All you got to do is press the icon indicated there, the one option. And then I believe it takes us back over here. Oh, yeah. He pours a little hot lava on that as if we needed any help with these platforms being bad. And look at that. So we got all five of the kits, and we know we got all three challenges, and we got that true Jedi. So we are officially done did with the collectibles. 
And you might notice this part is a little extra sped up, and that was just so we could get through it a little bit faster. As we are almost done, we got to hop across, which I love that you can do that with the bots this time. I don't think you could in, like, even TFA. I believe you had to be a humanoid in order to get your jump on, but... All right, so uh, scrambled up. We'll go ahead and solve this bad boy from the inside out. And, of course, woo to the hoo. That should be it for both us and you. Actually, we got to fill the, fill the meter one more time, I think. Yep. Oh, no, spam, 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 spam. My timeline isn't updating right now. It's uh, way off, so I can't see how close we are. But we are close. I know it. I know it. That's right. We got one more meter, and then it floats over to the edge, and then it takes us away Calgon style. Boy, that is an old reference. I don't, does anybody even know what Calgon is? <laughs> you might have to Google that. <laughs> it might have been Calgon from your Google search. Oh. All right, here we go. Final cutscene coming up after you. Spam, 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 spam. Man, this is like one long saber battle, the whole level. And what is going on? What in the crap is that? I never switched my ship over. I've done nothing off screen that you haven't seen, I promise. That is weird. Did you guys have your Falcon turn into another ship at some point? Like, why? I mean, Cody's out. It's like my characters haven't switched or nothing. So random. I, I've, I've never had that happen. It's always been the Falcon or the Falcon, depending on how you like to say it. All right. Uh, level Kuku complete. The true Jedi status was a reach. In fact, we doubled it. We got 140,000. It was only 70. We got let him eat cake for tossing that cake, Charlie. We snuck in the side door, and, of course, we hopped on that panel and blasted Anakin with that hot air from that vent right at the beginning, getting us all three challenges. And, of course, the mini kits stacking up. What do we got? We got a J-Type Star Skiff Microfighter. All right. Well, I'll take it. I wish, uh, I wish I had a little microfighter like that to fly around. Pretty sweet. All right, four hops, one, four, moving into episode four as episode three is officially co -co complete. Feeling pretty good. So we got the first trilogy done did. Now on to the next. Hey, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for level 15, the high ground free play. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful, maybe a wee bit entertaining as well. If you're into this kind of thing, make sure you click that like button. And, of course, check us out on social media. That's a good place to go hang out. And happythumbsgaming.com, the home of our trophy achievement guides and more. As for me, guys, that's going to do it. As always, until next time.